What do you get when you cross chicken quarters with pecan smoke, duck fat, and a new rub? You're about to find out. Welcome back to Blind Grilling. My name is Chris Peltz and I am the most interesting griller in the world. And today we are going to be smoking up some chicken quarters. And man, I've got some great tips for you to help you learn how to crisp up that skin. And we've got a new seasoning that we're going to be trying out on these chicken quarters as well. So stay tuned. Mm, man, I can't wait to try this chicken. What we have in front of us are three whole chickens that we've had quartered. We opened up the package, we put them in the pan, we stuck them in the fridge and left them overnight to kind of dry out. And that's gonna be the first key to getting a crisp skin when you're smoking up your, your skin on chicken. The next thing that we have is some duck fat. Now there's a couple of other tricks that you can use. Sometimes rubbing mayonnaise on the night before when you're letting it air dry doesn't leave any type of flavoring but it will help dry out that skin so mayonnaise is another great trick to use but letting it set uncovered overnight is one of the first keys uh, the mayonnaise is a great trick and then of course one of my favorites is the duck fat so what we're going to do is we're going to spray it with duck fat we're going to season it up then we're going to put it on the big green egg and i'll tell you about the setup on the egg when we do that folks we got a new rub called Hard Knocks, and it's put out by not only a new restaurant here in Springfield, but uh, in conjunction with Pits and Grills, our local grilling store. And man, I, I tried this on some chicken breast the other night, and it is, uh, it's amazing, it's so good, love it. And basically, um, something that is used, you know, uh, kind of competition, barbecue chicken. That's what we're gonna be using on our cook tonight with all of this chicken, so. We're gonna work on getting this seasoned up and then we're gonna put it on the egg. So we've got our big green egg set up at 275 degrees for an indirect cook. We've added some pecan wood and a little bit of peach because I'm a sucker when it comes to the peach wood. But we've got mainly pecan and peach, but we've also doubled up uh, our racks in the, in the big green egg. So I'm gonna take this one off set it aside so we can go ahead and start loading up some of this chicken now right now it doesn't necessarily matter can I, whether it's skin down or skin up right now but you do want to make sure there's a little bit of room for the air to get to all of this uh, you know around the chicken and that's one thing I love about putting these cotton liner gloves on with the nitrile over them is you're able to feel around on the grill even though it gets nice and hot. Put our second rack on. Alright, we'll close these down. We're going to let them go at 275 for probably on the big green egg we're talking probably an hour to an hour and 15 minutes and then we'll start probing them for temp we may come out after uh, 35 40 minutes and flip them uh, but we're looking for an internal temp of the breast meat 160 to 165 and the dark meat 170 to 175. folks it's been about an hour so we are gonna probe our chicken Ooh, nice and smoky 157 there, 152, check down here. All right, so we're in the 150s, so we're gonna let them go just a little bit longer and come back and check them. All right, folks, 174 is our temp, internal temp. So we're gonna start pulling this chicken off. You can take a look. That chicken, man, boy, it smells so good as well. Folks, we're in the kitchen. We've got our chicken here before us, and ladies are telling me it's got a beautiful color. It looks really good. Uh, so we're going to give a taste test here and see what we think. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Juicy. Wow. The Big Renate does a great job cooking chicken anyway. That's awesome. 
great seasoning. Nick, again, at Pits and Grills did a great job with that seasoning. You know, the skin, it's not crisp, but it is bite through. It's not that rubbery texture that we're looking for. If we cooked it at a much higher temperature, we'd probably get a little bit more crisp on the skin, but it is a bite through texture, so that turned out really well. And I got all kinds of folks probably stealing pieces of chicken right here <laughs> in front of me. Everybody steals food from me and when I'm not looking. <laughs> all right, folks. Hey, appreciate everybody watching. You know, if you're wanting to uh, smoke some chicken quarters, this is a great way to do it. Turn up the heat a little bit, get a little bit crisper skin and uh, a little bit shorten the time. But the main thing, the main key is uh, the internal temperature. You know, for the white meat, 160 to 165. For the dark meat, 170 to 175. That's what you're looking for. Appreciate everybody watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, really appreciate it and love y'all and, uh, and the support that y'all give us. Remember, if you're looking, you ain't cooking.